Hello everybody and welcome back to the channel State of Charge. Uh, thanks for joining me today. I'm excited about this video because we are going to be talking about how to set up LightSail with Amazon Web Services, also known as AWS. It's a very simple and easy way to use their cloud computing infrastructure for those of us that aren't necessarily as technical as other people we might know. And let's face it, we're all not as technical as some of the people that we know. So this is an easy way for you and I to set up a virtual private server on the Amazon cloud and get things set up very, very quickly and very, very easily. So without further ado, we are gonna dive into LightSail and I'm gonna show you how to install WordPress on LightSail and you're gonna be amazed at how easy it is to do and we're gonna start it right now. Okay, so I am logged into my LightSail console here and as you can see, I do not have any instances created. So before you get to this point, you're gonna to wanna to have an Amazon AWS account so just sign up for that. It's super easy to do. You're just gonna go to the Amazon console and create an account and you'll be able to log in and go ahead and do, um, do an account. So I've already done that. No need to go over that in this tutorial. I'm assuming you can create an account. So we're gonna log in. I'm going to create an instance. And all an instance is is basically a server or a computer running on the virtualized platform that AWS provides for you. So just think of an instance as a server or as a computer, and you can run all kinds of different things on these, but for the sake of this video, it's just gonna be a WordPress website. So let's go ahead and create a new instance. And you have some options here. For the sake of this tutorial, we're just going to be doing WordPress. So you have two, two options with WordPress, you either have WordPress standalone site or WordPress multi-site. In this tutorial, we're just gonna do WordPress site. Now at the moment, and as of the time of this recording, it's gonna be installing WordPress 5.2. There's a newer version, we're gonna to get to that in just a second on the update. So hopefully soon that will be the new instance that we're able, able to choose and we'll get the updated version of WordPress, but for now it's 5.3. Uh, we're gonna go ahead and then come down here and choose which instance plan you want. Uh, this first tier is $3.50 a month, and the first month is free. And you can go up to these different tiers as, and plan this as, as much as your application needs as far as the RAM. With the free version here for the first month, it's 512 megabytes of RAM, one virtual CPU, 20 gigs of SSD. Now that is crucial to understand. This is SSD storage, so it's gonna be very, very quick. And then one terabyte of outbound traffic. Inbound traffic is not metered. Outbound traffic, you're gonna get one terabyte per month. So let's go ahead and name this instance. I'm just gonna simply call it State of Charge. And let's go ahead and create this instance. It's going to take a few minutes for that instance to get up and running. Probably about three to five minutes. And so for the sake of the video, I'm just gonna go ahead and pause that for now. When it comes back on and it shows that it's running, as you can see now it's pending, we'll get into some of the other options and some of the other features as we're looking into LightSail. Okay, after a couple minutes, the instance is now up and running and we can control this instance a number of ways. Uh, right off of the bat though, when you're coming over here and you see the instance, you are gonna see that it's running here. And then you're just gonna click this little terminal icon. It looks like a cursor with an underscore and we're gonna open that. And this is gonna be your SSH terminal directly into this server. And so this is how you're going to control it. Now, don't get intimidated by this. There's really not a whole lot that we need to worry about here. For the sake of this um, tutorial, we do need to get the username and password that has been established um, by the install. And this is going to be just the WordPress admin that you're gonna wanna edit and manage your website from. So if you're familiar with WordPress, it's just the manager that you're gonna be editing your website from. What I like to do is I like to have a notepad that's up and running with some simple commands that I will just simply cut and copy over. So here's one of those commands and this is the application password. And I'm gonna just copy that to my clipboard. I'm gonna come back over here to this console and we are going to paste this in and hit return. And this gives me the password to my 
WP admin. I'm just gonna simply copy that. And you'll notice right here that this is the IP address of the server, right? So we're gonna go ahead and let's just type that in, 54.191.218.1.1. Dot two seven. Don't worry, I will delete this instance as the once this tutorial is over, so it's not really going to be accessible anymore. And then just like a normal WP admin, I'm just going to do WP admin and hit go. And this is going to give me the login. Out of the gate, the username is just user. And then the password that we got from that console, we'll go ahead and type that in, hit login and that easy guys within a matter of minutes we have uh, a virtual private server running on light cell running wordpress now there's a couple things that we're going to want to do uh, right out of the gate is we're going to come up over here and we do want to update wordpress let's go ahead and update that to the latest version okay that has been updated to the latest version and it comes pre-installed with a couple plugins things like Jetpack and what I like doing is I just come in here and I just delete all of these ones that I'm not going to be using. If they're ones that you want to keep then go ahead and please feel free to keep them. They are going to be outdated at this point in time and so you're just going to want to be aware of that. Make sure that your plugins are updated because that is actually one of the most vulnerable aspects of websites is not keeping your plugins updated. So. Let's go ahead and continue to do this. Just kind of go through this process and uh, you'll be good to go. I just like deleting all of these except for WP Mail SMTP. Because we're on light cell, because it is Amazon, you are gonna need to configure an SMTP email account to send email if you have like a, an, a mail form or something like that on the uh, web server or within the website. So that's updated and so now I have Again, within a matter of two minutes, I have all of the plugins that I want updated. I have WordPress updated, all running on light sale. And as you can see, this is publicly available through this IP address, hello world, and you are up and running. You can now install your themes, your other plugins, everything that's necessary that you would want under a normal website running WordPress right off of light sale. And the beautiful thing about this is it is a virtual private server so you are not sharing any of these resources with anybody else this is not a shared server this is your server right out of the gate three dollars and fifty cents a month and you're up and running uh, with wordpress so that's the simple part that's the easy part not that anything is not simple but we're going to go ahead and talk about some other things that you're going to want to do once you have this instance up and running one of the things that you're gonna want is this IP address that you get right here out of the gate is a dynamic IP address. So if I were to come up here to these three buttons right here and stop this instance, meaning that it's no longer running, it's kind of like taking your computer and unplugging it and just shutting it down. And then I start it back in, I plug it back in and I turn it on. That IP address is going to change. This is dynamically assigned by AWS. So if you want to host your website long term, you're going to need a static IP address. That's an IP address that is not going to change over time and would be assigned to this instance specifically. So all we're going to do is we're just going to come up here to networking. So you're going to want to come here and you're going to want to create a static IP address. And this is where we are going to assign this IP address to your instance, the one that we just created. I'm just gonna drop it down, it's the instance state of charge, and I'm going to name it. What I like to do is name it the same thing as the instance, just with dash IP. So, charge dash IP. That way I know that this IP address is assigned to that instance. Let's create. And now the instance has been assigned this IP address. Now this is static. This is never going to change as long as you have this static IP address assigned to this instance. Now the nice thing about this is, is you can create multiple instances later on down the road and reassign this IP address to those instances if your server needs or desires or applications ever change. So really, really cool stuff. So let's come back here to the home. And as you can see, this is now a playing off of that static IP address. So if we do a new tab, paste that in, 
we're gonna have the same hello world that we saw before on that dynamic IP address. That dynamic IP address is no longer available to us. We're now using the static IP address. So that is um, very, very cool. So here, look, within a matter of five minutes, we got WordPress installed on LightSail. We got a static IP address assigned to that instance that we can now assign um, a domain to. And we're gonna go over that in the next tutorial. We've updated WordPress and we got rid of all the plugins that we don't want. And we have a, red, a website virtually ready to run and get going. So we are gonna dive into some more technical stuff in the next one, such as snapshots, such as um, let's encrypt so that we can get SSLs on our um, WordPress sites. We're gonna learn how to get rid of this Bitnami uh, icon down here in the bottom. And so we're gonna do some little more geeking out. We're gonna learn how to do um, PHP my admin so we can actually dive in and manage the database if we want to on these things. So all things we can do right within LightSail. So you're gonna wanna stick around for the next tutorial when we do that. So thanks, hope these videos are um, appealing to you. If they are, please like and subscribe. Here on State of Charge, we talk about three things. We talk about solar power, we talk about web technology, and we talk about life stories. So if these are relevant to you, like, subscribe, hit that bell, and we'll talk to you in the next video.